Hey guys, and welcome to another video from the team here at BlenderTech.com. Don't forget to like the video and to subscribe for more Blender, Unity 3D, and programming videos. The team tries to add at least one quality video a day. And lastly, don't forget to remember, create your way. So today I wanted to show you how to export Blender objects into Unity if you've never done this before. And if you have, I wanted to show you just uh, a few different things ways to do it um some optimizations and some different ways to do it and some things that you might need to remember that maybe is causing you headaches so i have blender open um i also have a unity open so just blank project and i have just a basic little i don't know some sort of cube kind of crate object that i just created really quickly here so um I am using a daily build of Blender, so if anything messes up and crashes, then I apologize. Uh, and actually, I have to say, the new features coming into the new version of Blender look amazing. But anyway, so yeah, let's say we just have this basic cube box thing here, and we wanted to export it to Unity. Now, Unity is good because it will import .blend files, so let's save this. I'll just save it on my desktop for ease of use and I'm just gonna call it uh, tutorial crate and I'm gonna shift home I'm just gonna copy that so let's save that as a blender file now let's open it in unity and see what happens so I've got unity let me get my desktop open So I'm just gonna, I'm just simply gonna drag and drop my dot blend file into Unity, into my assets folder. You'll see it takes a second to process. But now under assets, I have this tutorial crate object. And uh, yeah, you see the preview, it's got the cube, it's got um, default take, which looks like, I don't know what it's for exactly I've had. And a tutorial create av avatar, that's more for characters. But yeah, basically it shows you a little bit of information. It's got 20,000 vertices, 12,000 triangles, and yeah, blah, 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 blah. So this is how you import stuff into Unity though. So I, I go to my tutorial crate in in Unity, and I choose, is it a model, a rig, or is it full of animations? Well, it's a model, okay, the scale factor, one. That's that's good, so whatever scale it is in Blender, it'll be the same scale in Unity. I can change it to 10, and it'll be 10 times bigger when I bring it into Unity. Uh, Unity used to be 0 0.01, so it'd be extremely tiny, and you have to change this every time, but now, in the latest version for, that I'm using, 4.5.5 F1, and 4.6 is coming out. I just haven't used it yet, because a lot of things aren't compatible for it. I'm waiting for Unity 5, but the scale factor is now, by default, uh, one when you import dot blend so that's very useful uh, mesh compression that just compresses your mesh down so it keeps file size smaller which can be useful um optimize mesh um basically it just tries to calculate as smartly as possible what it can do to make your mesh better performing when you bring it into your game uh import blend shapes that's a little bit more advanced. I'm not getting. A, I'm not going to get into blend shapes right now. Uh, generate colliders. So if you want this to be a collidable object, then you can do that. You can hit generate colliders, and it'll generate a collider for it. However, I suggest that if it doesn't need to have specific colliders to its specific shape, if it's just say a prop, then just go and add a basic. Uh, just add a basic uh, box collider after and just size it to the general shape of your object. Um, generate light map UVs. What that does is it uh, basically, it creates uh, a set of UVs so that you can use Unity's lighting on this this crate. So that that's useful obviously when you're making scenes. I'm not gonna do that right now though. Uh, normals, import since the normal's already fine. Whoops. You can see there's advanced options there too. But anyways, um, tangents, calculate, smoothing angle, blah, blah, blah. Everything is fine. It can import materials. Uh, 
and etc. But I'm just gonna leave it as it is, and it it gives you a preview of what it little what it'll look like. So I'm gonna hit apply. You can change this at any time. You can go back and change anything, and it'll make the changes to the model. So now all I gotta do is drag and drop it into my scene, and there you go. It is perfectly just as I created it in Blender. Now another issue that um, Unity used to have was that it would um, it would bring your mesh in, it would bring your object in um, rotated. Let's see if I can get a better view here. You can see that it's it's perfectly fine. It's brought it in, it's brought it in just fine. But what Unity used to do when you were importing .blend files is it would it would import it. Uh, rotated so that because unity um the y is up whereas in um whereas in blender the z is up so it would it would or yeah by default it would uh import it like this kind of whereas now it's gotten a lot smarter and it imports it just fine now the problem with using dot blend files is they're quite chunky realistically when you when well not when you think about it, they are quite chunky when you come to import them into blender um it's better to actually import the mesh itself unless you have a specific reason to use dot blends for example you're just prototyping or there's something specific that you need from the dot blend file so this uh this object this tutorial crate is 975 kb in my assets folder so that won't be the final size when you build the game it might be bigger it might be smaller but it's, it's a decent size for just a simple little mesh so let me show you a different way let's go back into blender this is the standard way for exporting models you go file export now there's two different ones you can choose and these both support animations and rigs either uh FBX, which is the pretty much the industry standard, or uh, Colada, which which does the same thing. Um, you may want to do a bit more research on it, but FBX is pretty much the standard. So choose .fbx. So we're gonna save it to our desktop as tutorial crate .fbx. Now you got some options here. Uh, there are should be some presets, or you can make presets. But anyways, so you choose the version. Um, Everything should be pretty good as it is. Um, like forward, negative Z is forward. You can play with that up, Y is up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is already set up for exporting to, to Unity, I believe. And we will find out because like I said, in earlier versions, it used to be that things were rotated weirdly. Uh, apply the modifiers. We want to do that obviously before or you want to apply your modifiers before you go to export something i suggest but it will do it automatically for you here if you've forgotten uh, there's a few other options basically you just got to um you just basically got to play with it and look at the tool tips and it'll it, it'll it'll basically explain itself so all you're doing is you're just exporting it so let's export fbx now let's go whoops now let's go into unity and I got my desktop here. So where is .fbx? So you can see the file size now went from 975 to 197. So think we have a almost that's that's about a five times file size savings. So think of the optimization when it comes to creating your final game. So now I have the exact same thing basically, but you see the issue now its scale factor is 0 decimal zero 01 so that's the issue that you have you got to always set that to one if you want the same size as it was in blender um otherwise all the options well i'm gonna apply that quickly otherwise all the options are basically the same oh which one is which now okay yeah this is the fbx i'm not going to import blend shapes because we don't have blend shapes i'm gonna apply this again but yeah otherwise all the options are the same and it's it's basically going to create everything else. So if I just import this though, as you can see, it is exactly the same. We've got the exact same object imported into Unity, but we've got the file saves 
we got the file size savings, so it's gonna optimize our game a lot better. So yeah, tutorial crate, this was the dot blend. It also brought in our camera and the dot cube, so it's parented everything, so we can delete the camera object, that's just extra junk essentially. But tutorial crate here, that's the dot FBX I believe. Or no, this might be the dot FBX. I can't, I can't remember which one is which now because I, I named them the same. But yeah, it looks like either way you will end up with a mesh renderer and a mesh filter. And then, like I said, just you can you can generate the colliders. But if it's just a prop or something, just go ahead and add a add a collider afterwards. Um, uh, where is it? Physics, just a box collider. Then you just you would just set it to the right size for for your object. So yeah, that is basically it when it comes to um when it comes to importing objects from Blender into Unity. Just very simply, I suggest you use, like I said, .fbx or .collida, but you can't import .blend, like I said, especially when you're prototyping. So yeah, that's just a simple, simple thing to, to think about. And it also creates this materials folder with the materials that I didn't have in in, in Blender, but if you had materials, it will import them as well as uh, textures and stuff. So yeah, just uh, just a quick tutorial I wanted to bring in there. Just if you didn't know how to import things, that's a very basic one. I'm gonna create a much longer in-depth one um, with all the details and professionally and a lot, a lot more in depth and I'm going to explain everything. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. Again, that's BlenderTEK.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, please like it. And don't forget to subscribe for more Blender, Unity 3D, and programming videos. We now offer hard copies of our videos. So if you'd like a copy to download on your computer or watch later, just let us know and we'll upload it to our server. And you can watch it later in the media play of your choice. If you dislike this video for some reason, don't just leave. Instead Instead, leave a comment or email the team at info at blendertech.com about what you did not like. We also take requests for tutorials, so let us know what you want or want more content of. See you next time, and remember, create your way.